everyone under the age of 28 grew up with Harry Potter, <laughs> literally. Um, when I was about 10, my mum bought me the first book. And um, obviously because it was, you know, people were talking about it and I wasn't much of a reader and just blasted through it. And then I went to bed most nights hoping that a Hedwig or some of one of Hedwig's friends would come and drop a letter in saying that I'm going to Hogwarts. Met Eddie and I was like, sort of nervous, but Eddie was like straight put me at ease because he's the nicest guy in the world and so is David and I felt really comfortable. And then um, just before we sort of like rehearsed the scene and I just, I, in the scene, I kissed Eddie on the forehead. And I think that's the moment that they were like, okay, we've got to give him the job because that's the weirdest thing anyone's done in terms of a relationship. Um, so that was, that, yeah, that's the casting process. He's just really solid, you know? And um, it's, yeah, I found it quite hard to tap into that because um, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't successful, I wasn't solid or, or whatever that was, but there's, 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 there's a sturdiness to him. Mm. Um, and then I found that he, you know, he'd sort of, he'd been he'd educated in Hogwarts under, underneath Dumbledore and the same way that Newt had, but s for some reason he'd separated and it always felt unnatural that Theseus had become part of the establishment when his natural instinct would probably not to be that, but like Newt, you know, they're brothers, got, there's a similarity, but he's somehow like closed that bit off and he's gone that way and he's gone really high up into the, in the Ministry of Magic, he pretty much runs it. And, um, uh, and that's how he decides to fight the good fight. Whereas Newt is part of the rebellion, that's how I look at it and Theseus is part of the establishment, and that's kind of the main difference between two brothers. Apart from that, they're very similar. This movie is, um, is, is more of a nod towards the latter Potter movies. It gets dark, tensions are up, there's more at stake in a sense. Uh, well, there is more at stake. Uh, um, the world is splitting and there are camps, and it's quite fun because you can decide which camp you're in. She has a, a secret um, that unravels during the course of this film. And um, yeah, that's always a very interesting thing to investigate, you know, guilt and what that does to you and um, pressure and what that does to you and expectations and what that does to you, um, to a human, to a person. Um, yeah, her journey w is, is quite intense in this film, so um, I think I, I learned a lot playing Lita because I had to go to a lot of really interesting, odd places to, to, to play her. I love their relationship because it's their oddness that brings them together, you know. I think on paper their friendship might not make so much sense, but, um, you know, Newt is such a compassionate person who um, loves beasts that he loves creatures, he loves the things that no one else will love. Mm -hmm. And Lita is that in a lot of ways. So I think he sees this kind of beast, or as Lita would say, a monster in her, and loves, and loves that about her. Doesn't want to change a thing about her. You know, I think he just sees her for what she is, and I think she um, needs that in her life. And I think he's the only person in her life who really sees her for who she is and loves and loves that. It's this place between the light and the dark and what do you believe in and, um, and what people do when they feel oppressed and upset and where do you put that anger, um, which path do you take? Um, and I think it's really amazing to have a film that involves magic and wizardry and witchcraft, but have it feel a little bit more mature. And I think this is a bit darker and deeper. And um, I love the fact that adults are gonna be able to see magic um, and also have a film that's kind of made for them as well, you know.